Hey guys, if you missed the ring earnings call yesterday, uh, May the 12th, it was uh, nothing short of entertainment at its best. This time they didn't go after me that I saw. They didn't fire no shots at me, but they did fire shots at Reserve Report and uh, Matt's outfit. This is foolish, guys. This is foolish. I'm about to break down very quickly how bad they're wrong and how their number 11 slide is complete and utter garbage absolute garbage and i am going to take their best well now listen their best well over 600 barrels i am also going to add the production of a wishbone well and it's still does not get it done according to their slide number 11 for which they kept bragging about nonstop yesterday before we get into it guys smash that like button hit the subscribe button helps me out a lot to build my channel um, if you like the content stick around follow me on twitter at joshua pollard and uh let's get into it so danny wilson talked he talked about side 11 and there was constant uh, holly lamb kind of said that uh, matt and reserve report didn't know what the hell they were talking about they're only six percent right etc etc but this slide this slide is horrible and neil neil dingman is the only analysts that really brought it up now analysts i think try to stay respectful whatever but this is as close to bringing it up as anybody got and uh let's see what danny wilson said yes no i appreciate that neil now look we uh the curve that you're looking at on the slide 11 which is our type curve for the northwest shelf that's one we came up with when we were doing the initial wishbone acquisition that was our work that we did looking at the wells that they had drilled and then using that as a model going forward. We knew it was very conservative. Guys, I want you to remember this very conservative. Very, very conservative. We're going to look at slide 11 now and uh, we'll see what you think. Here is that marvelous slide that was brought up in uh, the ring energy conference call slide number 11 from the presentation one of the analysts brought it up northwest shelf well economics and type curve this will not work for one i can't prove it but this is wrong absolutely wrong drill completion is more than that Ask any engineer that's not getting paid by Ring Energy, and they'll tell you that. Um, but the big factor is over here, and this is where it gets really interesting. At thirty-five dollars, years to payout is one point five years. Now, what they forget to mention on this, and you have to dig for it. On the 10k is that their wishbone assets average 58 percent net revenue interest meaning for every barrel of oil they get 58 percent of the revenue so when you start looking around this 1.5 kind of disappears let's check it out now all the haters are going to say now where'd you get it from i got it from ring energy's own w2 filings on the conference call they said this information is not good um, i don't know if they're implying they're lying to the railroad commission or what uh, w2s are pretty well when you sign them you certify that they're correct so but here's where I am going to completely destroy that number 11 slide. What you have here is the W2 has already said. This is the Longhorn 708 lease. 
as you can see right here this is wishbone operating this is one of the leases they bought so i'm going to show you exactly how bad this acreage is when you go down here spud date when they started drilling june of 2018 date of first production after rig released october of 2018 now they always want flow back things of that nature between uh releasing the rig and initial potential so october 2018 come down here date of test this is the initial potential test november 2018 24 hours 439 barrels so this is above now mind you above what ring energy said they, they put it at 400 barrels and this is important this is very important to what i'm going to show you to make you understand how reserve report nailed nailed it and ring is again trying to spin everything so 439 barrels in november of 2018. now let's go to the new well ring energy came out and drilled another well on this same lease go down spud date May 2019, right here, date of first production after rig release, June 2019, and go down, and here you have August of 2019, 621 barrels. According to Ring, that's a barn burner, absolute monster, that's over 200 more than what they were going for but here is where it all goes to hell because i'm going to show you that this well on its own from the time it started producing we're going to go from up here to get the date from the time it started producing it ain't going to work because we're going to show that not only this well, but on top of it, the other well on this lease producing, wishbone well, both producing, but we are only going to assume that the production is this well. Now this may be a little confusing, but I'm going to break it down for you even better. So sit tight. And here we have the data, guys. This is the data that Ring Energy says can't be trusted. But once again, uh, you are supposed to certify that the production is correct. So if the data is not correct, uh, that could be a significant issue with the Texas Railroad Commission. But that's another story. We're just going to break it down. Here we have the wells that we looked at just a minute ago. We got two wells, the wishbone. Then you have this quote unquote monster 600 barrel a day uh, ring well. I gave you those dates earlier to show you. Okay. Here they are when they started producing. Go down, go down, go down. Now, you remember the ring well of June. That's when it started. Okay. So, here it gets funny because when you take just the ring well the 600 barrels a day and remove it from over here so all i did was take this and move it over here this still has the wishbone well producing as well so you've actually got two wells but we're just calling it one well. And look what happens when you do that. June through February. Let's see, one month, two month, three month, four month, five month, six month, seven month, eight month. Eight months 
and it's not even at 50 percent eight months it's not even at 50 percent and what's worse is that they have a 60 percent nri so even with two wells two wells combined production that Number 11 slide in their earnings presentation is complete crap. This is two wells production, but we're saying it's one. So if Ring can't get to that level at 1.5 with two wells production, how are they supposed to get it with anything? Let's not forget that slide's based on 400 barrel well. Now, for those of you who do not know, the initial potential tests are kind of pseudo engineering because what they produce and what will actually happen after that initial potential test are two different things. But them going after reserve report on this was rather entertaining because this is one of many, many wells that I can do the same thing on over and over again. I specifically chose this one because, of course, it has an over 600 barrel oil per day IP test. It's over 200 barrels more than their chart, their number 11 slide. That's at 400 barrels. So at $35 a barrel, how are they supposed to get that? And, oh, by the way, do not forget, it's 58% technically averaged out, but we'll call it 60. We'll give them the extra two points. That's in the 10K. I strongly suggest you go check that out. But, yeah, Ring is making stuff up. Danny went on to say, well, we uh, kind of just threw it together based on Steward. Guys, Ring is not steward, plain and simple. This notion that you can drill in the San Andreas and it will perform like a shell where you can get a guesstimate is not true. It does not respond the same way. Plus, they're shutting in a bunch of wells. Um, what's to say all that oil don't travel somewhere else? You have the uh, Apache field right there. What's to say that oil don't go down the road? That's a completely different story, but I just want to point out, even with a well, we pretend like that well isn't there, so technically it's two wells. You come over here, and what was it, 2.2 million, 2.4 million? Guys, that is not happening, plain and simple. They spun this earnings call to make other guys look incompetent. It was foolish when they did it with me. It's foolish now when they're doing it with Reserve Report. And uh, make no mistake, Ring is in trouble. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day.